Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play custom tracks on Mario Kart 8 for your Wii U. This is going to be through CTGP Universe, which is a custom track distribution for Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Now unfortunately, CTGP Universe isn't as all-inclusive as CTGP Revolution for the Wii. It only has offline modes, there's no multiplayer yet anyway. I'm sure things will change once Nintendo cuts off the Wii U from online servers. But anyways, let's get it installed and set up on our Wii U. So there will be two links down below. The first one is going to be for SD Caffeine created by Michelle. All you need to do is click on SD Caffeine. The latest version right now is 1.4, so click it to download the zip file in the bottom left. And then go to the next link in the description and it will take you to the Game Banana page for CTGP Universe Zeta. So I use Game Banana, a website for mods, quite often, so I make sure my ad blocker is not running, just to show my support for them. It's really great having them all in one spot. But once you're on the website, it should take you right to the CTGP Universe uh, by Lloyd Nabbit, and just scroll down all the way past the updates, you can see what they all added, Beta, Gamma, Delta, we're all the way to Zeta, so there's been quite a few updates. Originally, there were only 17 custom tracks and 12 custom Grand P icons, but now there's a lot more. But keep scrolling down until you see manual download for CTGPU. Uh, just click on manual download. It'll bring you here and click on download. And it should download in the bottom left. It is 670 megabytes, so it might take a little bit. But while it's downloading, let's open up our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. Here's what mine looks like. First up, open up the SD Caffeine download we made, and you'll see this Wii U folder. Just grab it and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Now, I already have SD Caffeine, so I'm just going to replace the files in the destination. But once you drag it on, if you go into your Wii U folder, Apps, you should see SD Caffeine right here. And if you open it up, it should look just like this. So it's always good to double check that you have it extracted properly. We can close this zip file, and then on the root, you're going to right click, create a new folder called SD Caffeine, spelled exactly as mine. SD Caffeine. Make sure there's two I's in there. Now, I already have an SD Caffeine folder, so I can't create another one. So I'm going to open up the SD Caffeine folder that I have. And right now, I have mods for Super Mario Bros. U. But this is where we're going to get the title ID for Mario Kart 8. So I have these title IDs in the description. I have Japanese, USA, and Europe all here. I'm uh, North America Wii, so I'm going to highlight USA title ID, copy it, go to my SD card into the SD Caffeine folder that we created, right click, create a new folder, and just paste the title ID. So that's for Mario Kart 8. Go into the folder we just created, and now we're going to open up the CTGPU Zeta, double click the first folder, and just grab content here drag the content folder into the title ID folder we created and once it's in there you should have your content folder and it should look like all this have everything here now if you want multiple mod packs you can create folders for each of them and then you can just drag the content folder for that mod pack into there so that when you open it up it looks like this and then you can have 400 cc mod and then you can drag the content for that mod into there and then when you open SD Caffeine on your Wii U, it'll give you the option to choose which one you want. But for this video, I'm just doing um, CTGPU, so I'm going to go back, go back, and just so content is there. Now it'll automatically load because I don't have folders for separate mod packs. But anyways, just to run through it again, from the root, we have in our Wii U apps folder, we have SD Caffeine here. It looks like this. And then back on the root, we have our SD Caffeine folder, spelled exactly like this, all lowercase. We have our title ID for Mario Kart 8. Make sure it's the proper region with our content folder. Now, just an example for all the different mod packs. Here is Super Mario Bros. U. If I open it up, I have all of these different mod packs, and as you can see, content is in each of them. But anyways, once your SD card is ready, I will meet you over on the Wii U, and let's start playing Mario Kart 8 Trust Custom Tracks. And once you're over onto your Wii U, make sure you're running your custom firmware. I'm using Tiramisu, and just so you know, you do not need the physical copy of the game. I have a digital version right here that I downloaded from Nusply. 
uh, don't tell the Nintendo pirates. <laughs> I do have the physical copy, but it was just easier to download. But you don't need it, you can use a digital version, just so you know. But first, we need to load into the homebrew launcher, which is the Mii Maker in my case. And then once you're here, navigate until you see SD Caffeine. There it is. Click on it and load it up. Now once this loads, it's going to bring us back to the Wii U menu, except when we click on the game, it'll run the mod instead of the original game. So we're loaded into SD Caffeine. Um, go ahead and find your game and start it up. And if everything is set up properly, it should load us into CTGP Universe. There we go, CTGP Universe is on our Wii U. So let's check it out and try a custom track. So as you can see it looks the same, um, same as the actual game. But let's go into single player and uh, see what they got. Go on Grand Prix, 150cc is fine. So as you can see we got our CG CTGP custom tracks right here. Now if you want your Mario Kart 8 to go from looking like this, to this with everything unlocked, check out the link below on how to get a 100% save file on your Wii U using Save Me. But anyways, I hope you were able to follow this tutorial and if you ran into any issues, just comment below, I'll try to help you out. Or you can join my Discord down below and ask for help there. And if you want to show your support on me making these tutorials, uh, there's a link below if you want to buy me a coffee or you can use the super thanks. But of course that's not expected. But I would love it if you hit that like button as that is free support that really helps me out. But anyways, I hope you enjoy playing your custom Mario Kart 8 tracks and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.